Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rory Reed, aka Tripler999, and in today's video I'm going to talk about what I do whenever I receive an order for a painting. I'm just going to go through the workflow from start to finish, from getting the order to ultimately shipping it out. And in this video, that's what we're going to discuss and I hope it is of some use to you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, so let's jump right in. The first thing I do when I get an order for a painting is to locate where I have that painting stored. As uh, many of you know, artists, we make a lot of work and we store them in every which way we can, wherever we can. So I, ultimately what I do is I go ahead and find where I'm keeping that piece. And once I locate it, then I you know dust it off if I need to, need to dust it off. And then uh, the first thing I do is I go ahead and reshoot images of the painting so that I have extra images if I need them in the future. I shoot extra b-roll footage, you know, video footage, and I also take additional pictures of me with the piece, and the piece uh, in different angles as you see here, and what that does, it'll give me um, just some footage that I can use in future videos and future um, social media posts, things of that nature, so that you know, once I ship the painting off and I never see it again, I'll still have some source material that I can use to make posts and to um, promote the um, the piece for the sale of prints, uh, things of that nature. So after uh, I get that done, then I go ahead and varnish the piece. I don't store my paintings varnished. Once I get them done, I just you know keep them in a cool closet with uh, you know acid-free wrapped in acid-free uh, paper. Uh, the reason I don't varnish them right after I get done is because I may need to reshoot them uh, for prints uh, in the future, like we mentioned before. And when you have them varnished, if you don't have a, the perfect studio set up, a lot of times you'll run into uh, issues with glare that will really hinder you from you know, being able to shoot the piece uh, head on uh, directly for your prints. So because I don't have a professional studio set up, I have a... a, a working uh, workflow that I use here to shoot images for prints uh, in my studio here um, I don't var that's why I, I refrain from varnishing them so that I can just reshoot them whenever I need to really quickly and then you know have that on, on, on deck to ready to go once I get that done then I go ahead and varnish them uh, I uh, usually go outside for that, uh, you're seeing some footage of me varnishing a recent piece that I sold here now. And once this gets varnished, then we go ahead and head out and jump on to our third step, which is hunting down shipping supplies that we may need. A lot of times when I get a piece, I have to create a custom box for it. Uh, I usually find a bigger box and cut it down to size and then you know re re reassemble it. Uh, for whatever size piece that it is that I'm shipping and Once I get that done if I don't have everything that I need I usually order uh, Extra supplies online or go to a local shipping supply store here to uh, get that accomplished So once th that's done then we go into weighing the package buying the shipping labels for it uh, Things of that nature and ultimately sending it off to the client. So just to recap First thing I do is locate the piece. Second thing I do is reshoot any video footage and uh, actual pictures that I may need to promote the piece in the future because once I ship them off, we're obviously never going to see it again, most likely. And then the third thing I do is get that uh, piece varnished up. And then the fourth thing I do is locate my shipping supplies so I can go ahead and package the uh, uh, piece of art for shipping and send it off to the uh, collector. The footage you saw in this video was of a piece that I recently sold. It's called the uh, Light Night, and um, that one went, was purchased by a collector out in uh, Seattle. So a uh, big thank you to that collector. Uh, should be on the way to you shortly, uh, and um, I hope you know the piece uh, gives you a lot of enjoyment um, for the years to come. And thank you very much for the support. Really appreciate it. So with that, guys, we're gonna wrap this little discussion video up. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are in the description. If you're interested in any of my artwork, go ahead and click the store link in the description below. And uh, other than that, hope you guys have a great day. And as usual, it's your boy Trip, and I'm out. Peace.